Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing, something that came in from our Apex group. And uh, this is coming in from Ion's A uh, Edge, so I wanted to see what this one is. I don't really remember what this one's supposed to be, so let's go ahead and take a look. Today I'm opening it up with my Quiet Carry 9 with the carbon fiber inlay on the titanium with wonderful uh, CPM20 CV blade steel, which I really enjoy. Really wonderful flat grind. I love this knife. It's a lot of fun. And a skip washer, so it's got awesome action. All right, let's see. Make sure. Yep, it's just a knife in here. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, this looks like, uh, hmm, don't remember that. Uh, that looks familiar. All right, well, let's take a look, okay? I'm pretty excited. All right, this is the Mallory Designs. Ah, oh, the Mallory Designs of Forest. Yes, a prototype. Oh, okay, this is the prototype. All right, all right. Mallory Designs, yeah, the Forest. All right, I've been really wanting to check this out. Really excited about that. Um, it's, uh, I believe it's made by Artisan Cutlery, if I'm not mistaken, but really, really nice. I like the thin profile. Ooh, with nice thin edge. Nice and centered, really cool. It's got a nice mill deep pocket carry clip, very, relatively very deep. I do like that. Uh, this has been passed around in our Apex group, so a lot of people had a chance to try this, and so I really appreciate Mallory Designs allowing us to have a chance to look at this. It's got a wonderful thumb hole here for, looks like it's gonna be a really nice flick. It's got really nice weight reduction. This is beautiful carbon fiber a twill. This is like, looks to me like a twill pattern inlay. Really nice. Yeah, that's really, really nicely put in there. Uh, bummer got t6 screws but that's okay you know i don't know maybe the production one will have larger screws it has a hidden um deep pocket carry clip but it is reversible i wonder if they're going to have an insert in the production version i'll have to go take a look at that but looks really cool let's go ahead and give it a flick oh that's nice that's really nice and it is a flat grind looks like a full flat grind really cool beautiful uh Finger choil right there, you can really choke up nicely. There's no jimping up there, but it is a very, very nice thin edge. So this is gonna be a beautiful slicer. Nice belly on there, kind of like a reverse Tonto, Warren Cliff, Sheep's Foot, modified, whatever you wanna call it, drop pointy, you know, whatever you wanna call this. I like it though, I really do, I like that. It's a really cool blade design, very functional. Allows for nice precision work cuts and everything. I like the pseudo Warren Cliff reverse Tonto there, it's kind of cool. It is a liner lock and that liner lock is up, I don't know if you can see that, it's probably a good 50%. Really nice, no blade rock in there, really solid. Let's see what the action's like. All right, the action's pretty good. Yeah, close is really nice, let's do that again. Yeah, really cool, let's do, yeah, doing the, doing the thumb flick, yeah, it works really nicely. Very cool. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that a lot. All right, and the edge, almost very good utilization of hand, blade to handle ratio. That's really nice. The ergos are cool. It's kind of contoured, so you can see it's a little contoured shape there. It is thin, but it works out pretty nicely. Uh, this might have a little bit of a hot spot for the sharp edge there, but it, I don't feel it terribly. But you know, if you're doing a lot of hard work, that does get a little sharp. So my only recommendation would be that would be rounded. Now, if I were to get this, I probably wouldn't do all black. And um, I would probably want to chamfer that off or round that off because that, that's a little sharp. But everything else is really nicely rounded all the way around the edges on the outside. Up here, choking up works really well. A little jimping might be nice, but you know, it doesn't have to be necessary. It works, it works with the aesthetic for sure. The action is pretty good. Yeah, I like the action. I like it's a captive pivot. So you see that right there? It's got to be a captive pivot. I assume that's a captive pivot. I don't know. Can't take this apart. It's got a full backspacer all the way back there. Um, Let's see, what about milling? Can I see any of that? Not really, but it is inlaid with carbon fiber, and that, in a sense, is really milling. That does a lot of weight relief on, on the uh, scale, and I believe they're titanium. Let's take a look. That's titanium. Uh, yeah, that's titanium. Oh, yeah, I think I'm attracted to, is this, is this titanium? No, that's steel. It's a steel liner lock. Yeah, that makes sense, steel liner lock. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's steel liner lock because there's no steel bar insert over travel stop, which you wouldn't need in a liner lock for sure. So that's cool. I do like that. Action's pretty nice. I, I, it's kind of nice, yeah. How does it go left-handed? The thing about this, it should be pretty easy left-handed, and it is for sure. Okay. It's got enough edge there so you can certainly get your finger all the way in there for a nice presentation, nice strong uh, actuation to deploy it. Works really nicely. I do like that. 
All right, so a couple of things. Carbon fiber's nice, everything's really good. I like the titanium mill clip, it's a nice aesthetic. Maybe soften the corners a little bit there. I like the blade shape. It looks like it's a full flat grind all the way up. So that should mean if I can get my finger in here, yeah, I can do middle finger reverse flick without the fuller. I can just use my finger like that to do a reverse flick. And probably works left-handed too, let's see. Yeah, works left-handed as well, so that's cool. I like that, I do like that. Very cool, really nice. I like the thinness of it. This is very EDC, you know, working, you know, light duty. I mean, being that's a thin blade is, is a benefit from anything. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Excuse me, it's a little late in trying to do this review, uh, or excuse me, unboxing. This is an unboxing and impressions. So this is just an unboxing and first impressions. So I wanted to get a chance to check this out and I'm really excited to, to do so. I do like everything about this. Uh, I like the black, uh, the black, I guess it's PVD um, get, or Cerakoted, really nice. I don't think this is black stone wash, but it's still really, really nice. It's got a little robustness to it, to the tip, which means, I mean, it's still a thin blade. Don't get me wrong, right? It's a thin blade, but it, it doesn't go super, super thin at the tip. So, I mean, I wouldn't pry with this. I would never do that with any knife, any nice knife for sure. Um, um, unless you're a life or death situation, I guess, then, you know, you do what you have to do. But this would definitely be a slicer for sure. You know, get a pry bar if you're going to pry. But I do like the action. It does appear to be caged ceramic ball bearings. It does have nice lockup. Yep. Let's see, and let's listen to that little detent. Yeah, clicks in nicely. This does have a little detent lash, uh, and that might be just because it is a prototype. So, got to be fair about that. Prototypes tend to, you know, they're not always perfect, and they're not going to be as finely tuned as a production knife. So that, you know, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt, and I have to, you know, compare that to maybe a production knife and see how that goes. But I suspect the production knife will not have that issue. That would be very rare, especially I think for the price of this one, it's not super cheap, but it's not super. You know, it's not ridiculously like expensive. It's not like a Knoll knives or something, right? Uh, but it is still very, very nice. It's an artisan cutlery, and I do like this design for sure. Yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. Um, yeah. So everything about this so far is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I believe what did they say? It's S thirty five VN blade steel. So I don't know if that's the production version. I thought it might be S ninety V. I thought that was the production. Uh, I'll I'll have a link for this knife so you can have more information about it down below. But um, I think it might be S ninety V. I'm not sure. Um, so I know there's different variants where it doesn't have to be all black. But I do like this all black version. It is nice. It's all murdered out as they call it, blacked out. You know. Uh, I like the liner lock. It's got nice relief. You can see that nice cutaway. It right here is really where you have the cut, but then it does catch right there, which is fine because let's see here. There's the detent. You want to clear it. There you're cleared, right? So uh, let me see. Yeah, so you're real close to that, which is kind of a bummer because if I go down here where I, I'd want to be able to clear it, it will catch there. So let's see. There we go. All right. Yeah, so the only thing I would maybe consider is that cutaway might be just extend that a little bit because it would be nicer to be able to go down here and then have that catch your thumb right there like that. To me, that's kind of nice. Like I, I'd even do that with this one here, right? So I catch that with part of the, of the, um, it's, I, it's not the choil. It's really more with the tang of the bar, a tang of the blade catches on the, on the uh, frame lock here, right? So it catches there so that I don't have to worry about a guillotine on my nail or something like that. So I like that. I think that's cool. Definitely kind of neat. So I, a couple things I would have to want to check on the production knife and maybe look at the pictures and compare. Maybe I'll have that in the full review. Is that is this more rounded, right? Uh, do they have a fill, like an insert, you know, here so it's covered? Because that would, I think for as nice a knife as this is, excuse me, <sighs> sorry, it's really like, um, you'd really want to have that there. I think that would be a nice touch. I do like the edge. I like the blade. All that stuff is really, really nice. I think those things are really cool. Uh, I think the action's pretty good, for sure. You know, that's really nice. I like the reversible clip, so lefties rejoice. Uh, it is a very sleek design. So let's go ahead and take an up-close look at this. I like the carbon fiber. It's got a nice reflection to it. And it's filled in really well, even though it looks like there might be voids. Those are just filled in reflective areas, right? So here we go. And let's take a look at the back. 
Let's look at it with the blade open. Right, and let's look at the back here with the blade open. And let's look at the blade itself. Make sure we get a little focus. There we go. I'm going to look at the blade over here. I think it's nice, you know? It's, it's, uh, first impression for me is, is pretty good. I, I like it. I think I like it a lot. I want to do a little research maybe just to look at what the production one was like. This Would this be something I would consider buying? Yeah, it might be. Uh, I bought a lot of knives lately. So my purchasing has been a little way more limited and I'm really thankful to like pass arounds and awesome subscribers allowing me to borrow their knives to do some reviews because I've made some some big purchases and I probably got to do some knife sales. But uh, yeah, my, my collection has uh, kind of jumped up a little bit So as far as quality and level. So it's... Uh, some knives I've always wanted to try and haven't had a chance to do so, but uh, that does come at you know at a cost. You know you, and I don't know when you collect more and more knives. Sometimes that changes, right? You appreciate certain things. Does that mean I don't buy budget knives? Absolutely not. I uh, I do buy I do buy budget knives. I do like them. There's several that I enjoy very much. So I have several of them. Uh, are they a little nicer budget versions? Yeah, because I do things to them. You know, like I have a baby banter and a banter, and I, I put some nice scales on that. And to me, that was a lot of fun, right? I have uh, I have some landers. I did some upgrades on those, right? And, you know, those are a lot of fun. And I like knives like that, that I can do things to. And that makes those knives more enjoyable to carry, even if they're fifth pocket knives or if they're just, you know, <laughs> excuse me, hard use knives or something like that. I have an AV 20.5 that I really enjoy, and I use that for a lot of hard work. Matter of fact, I've used my McNeese Mac 2 3.5 to um, clean out a, a whole bunch of uh, you know heavy stocks of uh, sunflowers that were growing in the pen where my my son has his sheep for FFA. So you know you would think you know how could you use a McNeese for that? Well, McNeese was great, and Magna Cut and 62, 63 Ruckel hardness it worked great in that. Matter of fact, I could whack away at those um, sunflower mini trees i call them mini trees because you know some were that thick and they were like looking like they'd bark on them they were, they were pretty pretty stout you know and they were taller than me they were like going up seven eight feet so they're big um uh, but you know this is really up there it's it's one of those knives that i think i might very much enjoy um the aesthetic is cool i am not totally an only worn cliff um, sheep's foot kind of guy. I like that and I think they certainly have a place, a time and a place. You know, but I, I do like a traditional drop point. I know this is more of a clip point here, but this like a drop point, clip point combo. I like Tontos, you know, so there's a lot of things I like and I think the whole knife as a whole has an aesthetic. I do have like some blacked out, murdered out ones. Um, this one is really cool. I think, you know, and I would really have to figure out that this clip was addressed. That to me is a, quite honestly, if it wasn't all blacked out, I could fix that, right? I could round that out. I've, I did that on my uh, Chavez Redention 229. Um, worked really well, but it was a stone washed one, so it was very easy to do. This is not. If I were to do that, it would totally expose the steel and it would make it you know, really stand out. So this is a knife all blacked out. It better be just really right on and you don't have to do stuff like that. So for this, uh, it would have to be a different version uh, if they didn't fix this. They might have. And if they didn't have an insert, that would be kind of a bummer. I wish they would have that. Uh, for sure. Uh, the detent last year, I hope that would be addressed too in the production version. I, I'm going to assume it will, right? Uh, see, there's no blade rock. Yeah, no blade rock. So the detent lash to me tells me that the liner lock here, I mean, you, there's ways to fix that. I had a knife where I had a little bit of a detent lash. I had a smock and I took it apart and I just, by curving the bend just a little bit, uh, it got a better connection or a better seating of the detent bulb from the lock bar into the detent hole and there was no more lock, uh, 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 detent lash, right? And this one has it just because I think probably it's been passed around a lot and done a lot of reviews so this has been a very well nicely shared knife and uh, I see why I see why so many of us wanted to check it out I mean it looks beautiful on in pictures and it's very beautiful in hand I really do like it and uh, I'm gonna guess this probably ends up becoming something that I'm gonna recommend unless I find out you know some of these things weren't fixed or you know they were 
worse than what they are now but i mean this is really nice i, I I'm, I'm digging it i am digging it so that's my first impressions for you so if you guys have any questions about this mallory designs phosphorus would you please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about maybe the review when i get to that would you let me know as well i'd love to be able to consider and discuss those that would be awesome hey if you found this content uh, fun interesting worthwhile entertaining or informative would you please consider hitting the like button down below and if you've already hit that like button would you please consider hitting the subscribe button subscribing and liking the channel really helps uh, the channel to grow allows me to produce more content and do more things ultimately for you guys so i really really appreciate that and if you've done all that maybe hit the notification button so you can be notified of future content and if you haven't already maybe check me out over on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives again that's on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives hey thanks so much for watching today have a great day and a great week bye